Au! Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lainey and in today's video I'm doing a bit of like an autumn barn vlog. Um, so I'm going to be doing all kinds of things around the barn as well as training one of my horses called Randy and he is a gelding and he he just needs some like training and kind of like obedience activities training kind of stuff I would say um so I will go get my weed lead rope so that I can get him up from the pasture because he is around there you can see him in that orange blanket over there um but yeah let me go and get grab his lead rope and then I will go and fetch him okay so I got my lead and I'm going to go and actually grab him now so he is i'm gonna squeeze through this bush here because i honestly can't be bothered to go all the way around let me go around tame and there we go so oh treat so to be honest i haven't because i've just gone around it wasn't that much harder but anyway so he is here he's oh obviously he's around the hay so i'm gonna grab him okay let's go in Oh, hello, hello Randy, how are you doing? Oh, he looks like he's running away from me at the moment. Um, also we have beautiful Cashew over there. She's hanging out um, inside a shelter. She's super cute, I love her, she is so pretty. Um, she's not my horse, she's one of my closer friends' horse. So I may ride her maybe sometime um but she is so gorgeous i love her oh randy excuse me sir you're gonna have to stop okay there we go let me let me put his halter uh not his halter his lead rope there we go um i'm gonna lead him out of the pasture and i'm gonna lead him to the barn so that i can get him like untapped and then put his like um bareback pad on and all that so that we can actually start getting him trained. Alright, so basically Randy is like quite lazy, which is mainly why I'm doing um, kind of this type of training with him. Um, but overall, he, he's pretty good. He doesn't really buck or kick that much. I wouldn't say he's spicy. Um, he sometimes refuses just because he wants to. Um, so I'd say he has quite a personality. Um, let me give him a little scratch because... I can see he's already a bit grumpy. So I'm going to get his blanket off and get his halter off. And then I'm going to, um, I am actually going to bear back with him. Uh, but first I'm going to do laundering. So I'm just going to take off his pack off him and lunch. So like you can see, without the blanket, he actually has a beautiful coat. Um, oh my gosh, he is so dirty at the moment. I was just admiring your coat and you're literally so dirty. Right, well, I'm going to have to brush him because he currently is so dirty. Um, but also, he's got his tail braided um, at the top, like I want to braid. Um, and his mane is getting very long, but it's getting cut soon, so I'm not going to worry about that too much for now. Um, I'm just going to go and actually brush him because he... It's looking very dirty, so let me go and grab my brush. Alright, so I'm going to brush him. Um, I'm not going to wash him because he was already washed. He just probably went, like, um, what's it called? Rolled around the field, and that's why he looks like that. <laughs> um, but let me just actually brush him now. There we go. Uh, 
Alright, let's do this side. Okay. I think I think that's I think that's good. He looks a lot better now. Okay, we're gonna go and get him lunging. So I'll just lead him to the round pen and then we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping he's quite good, but um he does like lunging but sometimes He's a little bit lazy, like I mentioned before, so we'll see. Alright, so we're at the round pen, and I'm just gonna see which uh, lead he's stronger on, and just try and lunge with him, try and get him to calm down a bit, since he, like you can see, he is quite complete today, so um, we will try to do that, so let me actually get him lunging. Excuse me, sir. You know how to do this. You've got to go. Move away. <laughs> that one. Oh my gosh. Right. got him going he's doing quite well so far in the walk but excuse me sir did you just stop again well um all right he's going are we gonna get a trot looking a slow trot but it's still a trot so it's not so bad right Oh, he's just so back now. Right, I'm gonna get him going a bit off camera, like trying to get lunging back into his head since I did I do think he's had quite a break from lunging, so I'm gonna try and like get him to actually go further away and try to lunge properly. And then I will film him getting into a trot and canter hopefully. Um so yeah. Go on, good boy. Got him into a canter. Let's see if he'll actually keep it up. There we go, that's good, that's good. Right, there we go, he's actually listening and he slowed down when I told him to and he's like looking at me, reading my body language, which is good because that's what's actually going to get him to lunch properly. So I've got him into a walk to kind of cool down a bit, um, but yeah, he's warmed up, he's doing pretty good, so I think that we actually may be able to make this a calm vlog and not a grumpy horse vlog yes he just looks at me he knows what i'm talking about oh my gosh okay um so let me actually okay. there we go good job i'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a pat that was actually really good right yeah you were actually good so good job um so i think i think that's what i'm gonna do for that rain i'm gonna go and switch his rain now make him go the opposite way and we will see how that goes i'm pretty sure that's his uh worst lead so we will see but let me actually turn him around so that he goes he goes this way go on There you go, got him to walk. I'll let him walk around like this for up. Oh. Gosh. Oh my gosh, right. <laughs> uh, 
There we go. I have no words for this horse anymore. Right, that's better. That's better. Try and get him in a trot. That's a fast walk, not a trot. There we go. Get him back into the trot. There we go, that's a nice trot. Oh, sir, that was not a trot. There we go, he got himself back. So that is definitely he, his um, worst side. Um, so I'll have to work on that. Um, but I think, right, so that's his right rein then, okay. So I think I'm going to get his bareback pad on. So I guess I can actually like do some flat leg bareback with him. I did speak to a couple of people. They said that that might actually be quite good for him. And then trying jumping bareback might be fun as well. But obviously he'll have to be well behaved for me to do that. Um, because I don't want to fall off. So uh, we'll see. Um, let me get him out of the round pen and then i'll see you guys once we're back at the barn and uh, getting that packed up okay so currently one of the instructors is getting randy tacked up and um, the reason i'm not doing it is because i've noticed the mess in his stall it's atrocious oh look at this um yeah so we're gonna need some new bedding Royale Academy If you're interested in getting any tops like I have in this video, make sure to go to Royal Academy as they have a range of different riding clothes. Right, so I'm here and like you can see he's got his bare back hat on, he's got his tendon butt boot um, so that he doesn't injure his legs whilst he's jumping because that's something that he would probably do, to be honest. Um, not gonna lie, this outfit is not the most stylish that I have seen him, but his uh, spare back pad is matching my shirt. I actually managed to find, find one that was orange. Um, obviously, that is a must for autumn, <laughs> but I'm gonna actually mount up. Oh. Right, I'm on. Yes, okay, let's go. Um, what we're gonna actually right, I'm just gonna do a little warm up with him, so there we go. He is quite tall. Um he's not uh the youngest, but he's still got his speed up, so that's great. <laughs> um and he mostly was to jumping but um he hasn't been ridden for a while because he had an injury uh he's had a long like he's had therapy he's had all that so he is completely fine to ride um which i'm very thankful for because things could have ended worse i'm not gonna like tell the whole story um but basically he's gotten a little bit lazy because of that he's always been quite like hard to get going um but that made him like specifically lazy um so i'm just trying to get him back into his normal like shape um so let me should we go in a trot i think i think it's fine Let's go in a trot now uh we are gonna go to the poles right there we go that's a nice fast trot I'm actually surprised he's not going like super slow. Right, let, let's go around and let's actually go to the truck poles. Oh, he slowed down a bit. 
Right, let's go. Oh, good boy, good boy, okay. Good boy, that was actually really good. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He just freaking jumped over that so high. He barely needed to move his feet and he just decided to jump. Oh my gosh, okay, let's get him back and going because that was, I was not expecting that. Right. Right, okay. Let's get him back on the drop balls. There we go, we gotta speed up a bit. Oh, no, let's not go back to walk. Let's not do that. Okay, there we go, got him back up. Right, should we do these? Are we ready for them? I think we're good. Oh! Just pulled me the completely wrong way. Okay. Good job. Oh my gosh. Good job. That was actually not like bad at all. It was not bad at all. Uh, he's keeping up his pace, which is good. Oh gosh, that was actually terrible. Uh, let's not go through that one. Alright, let's go to a camping. You know how to camp now. Well. Come on. Let's go, let's go to a canteen, you know how to canteen, come on. Right, there we go. That's a good canteen, that's a nice canteen, okay. Um, should we, I think, I think we're gonna try and do these ones here and see how he reacts. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. Right, at least he did them, honestly, they weren't the best. But he still did them. I'm gonna go back into trot with him. Right, not into walk. Not into walk, Randy. We're going into a trot, thank you. Oh my gosh, right, there we go. Right, that's a nice trot. Let's not slow down. Let's not slow down. He does this a lot, um, which is why I did kind of like obedience training with him so that he actually reacts to things because I feel like he's gotten very much to the point where even if he's a whip, he doesn't like react. So that, that wasn't very good. Um, I'm not sure who actually was riding him when he just after his injury, or well, not just after, but after he healed. It wasn't actually me. I just started riding him like, oh, there we go. I went through that. <laughs> I was just talking and then we just went through that like flawlessly. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> he just, are you okay? Are you going to like take a poo in the middle of the arena? What's going on? <laughs> okay. Let's get him going. There we go. Oh, oh gosh, right, th those were flies, but you really did not need to kick like that. There we go. There we go. Gotta go longer with him. Oh, gosh. Oh, but he actually wasn't too bad at all. Um, so he kicked once for the reason at all. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he just got angry with the flies and just decided to kick. Um, but overall, he was pretty good. Um, I think he just needs a lot more practice until he can get back into his former glo glory. Glory, yeah. Um, but he's done pretty well today considering he's bareback. And I actually think he acts a lot better bareback. So... Thank you to all the instructors that suggested that I actually go there back because that was a really good idea. I feel like that will really help them out. I will go get Randy untacked and probably give him uh, a wash um, and do his hooves 
Um, and he'll be getting his mane cut soon, which I'm actually quite excited for because he's had this really overgrown mane for a long time now. So hopefully, hopefully he will look quite more tidy when his mane is cut. But thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!